Are you an aspiring pianist who is looking for a user-friendly piano learning software? Well, in this Piano Marvel review, I'm going to go through everything that you need to know about this piano learning tool to decide if it is the right one for you. I'm not going to waste your time with fake reviews here, as I have personally bought this software and thoroughly tested out myself. I will show you a live demo of the lessons, so you essentially get to see how Piano Marvel works without purchasing it for yourself. And lastly, I will provide you with the pros and cons and my honest recommendation on whether you should try this software out. Now, let's get straight into this review. Piano Marvel is known to be the fastest way to learn piano versus traditional methods or where you hire an actual piano teacher. It breaks down learning piano into simple, segmented lessons so you aren't overwhelmed by information. It's a good choice for beginners and children but note that it only features a limited variety of music genres to choose from when picking songs to learn. I wanted to quickly mention that this video is based on an article on my SoundPro website which is more in-depth and up-to-date. So if you want more information, then I will leave the link to this article down below. To start, you can click on the link in the description or type this into your browser. It will take you to my special Piano Marvel discount page where you will get the best deals that Piano Marvel is currently offering. Now you can go and create an account. Piano Marvel offers two payment options, monthly or annual subscriptions. I recommend that you purchase the premium annual because this offers the biggest discount and is a lot cheaper than other piano lessons that require subscriptions. An annual account will cost you $110.99, which is basically $9.24 per month. This is a good value as compared to paying $15.99 per month in the premium monthly plan. As an alternative, you can go ahead and get the premium monthly plan just to check if this software really suits you. Then move to the premium annual when you feel like you're already ready to commit. After logging in, you'll be able to see a clear picture of all the features that it offers. In order to play music, you must have the Piano Marvel plugin running, but don't worry because it's easily accessible right here. Once you plug in your MIDI controller into your computer, you will be asked to configure it with a software, which just requires you to hit the lowest key on the keyboard, followed by the highest key. Once your keyboard is configured, you can start taking lessons and keeping track of your progress. Here in the dashboard, you can set your goal as to how many minutes you want to practice a month and how many days you want to practice in a row. I find this to be a very motivating feature as this keeps the student focused on his or her goal. You should also receive an email whenever you achieve a particular milestone such as 100 minutes of practice. You should even know what percentage of Piano Marvel users you belong in, like top 50% or something like that. Let's move on to the library. Piano Marvel has over 1,000 library pieces to choose from, including pop, classical, holiday, and hymns. They vary in difficulty from level 1 to level 18, and they are all included in the premium account, so you don't have to pay extra for them. These songs have links directed to YouTube videos, which helps decide if you want to learn that song and understand how that song should sound. There's also an option to download the PDF sheet music so you can print out the music and practice without always needing to be connected to the app. Do you like the level of detail I am providing you in this roundup review video so far? If so, make sure to like my video and hit that subscribe button for more high quality videos relating to pianos that I'll be releasing every single week. Now let's move on to the method step. Here there are 6 levels and within each level there are 5 sub-levels then 20 songs within each sub-level. There is usually a video tutorial about each lesson that summarizes the skills that you'll be learning. There won't be a teacher present in the first few lessons, just narration and illustrations. In the first level of lessons, you learn about note values and how to combine and read whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. In the second level, you'll learn about finger numbering and other notes on the keyboard. The third level will provide you with the intro to both major and minor scales. In the fourth level, you'll be learning about triads and inversions, musical phrasing, pedaling technique, more musical terms, transposition, and the circle of fifths. The next level, the fifth one, is about reading more advanced sheet music, including reading two hands on one staff, finger substitution, and crossing hands. Finally, on the last level, it'll give you an intro into the Baroque, Classical, and Romantic eras. I find the way the lessons are divided to be helpful because there is a clear purpose for each level, so you'd know what level you need to work on more. The previous level would equip you with sufficient knowledge that you'll need to pass the next level, so I recommend that you really understand the objectives of the previous level before you move on to the upper level. Piano Marvel gives you instant feedback on how accurately you play the notes and rhythm. Let's move on to the Technique tab. Technique focuses on ear training and rhythm. 
As you move into level 3, you will start learning scales and by the time you finish level 6, you will know the major and minor scales and chords. Let's take a look at this one example from level 1. Now let's go to the SASR tab. The SASR scores and tracks your ability to sight-read sheet music. Your score is compared with other users and your progress is tracked to see your improvement over time. This is a big advantage of Piano Marvel versus other piano learning apps because it focuses on multiple facets of learning including a heavy focus on playing by ear and sight reading. Here's a quick question for you. What is your favorite feature of Piano Marvel so far? Let me know in the comment section below. Now let's move on to the pros and cons of this software. For the cons, limited general variation. As I have mentioned before, Piano Marvel offers only a limited song library that you can use for practice. For the course, they use simple, familiar children's tunes like Mary Had a Little Lamp, which older students may not find too exciting. As for the pros, upload your own music. You can create your own book in the Piano Marvel library and upload your own music. So if you don't like the Piano Marvel method and technique curriculum, take what you do like and add to it. Or make a completely different curriculum using the library songs or your own songs. This is a huge advantage versus other piano learning softwares because this is a rare feature and so far, among all the other softwares that I have used, only Piano Marvel has this. Technical Support Piano Marvel offers multiple ways to get a hold of the technical support staff. You can call the company or use the email forum for any questions or concerns. However, there's no live chat support options, but you can look at the FAQ section to find solutions to common problems. Now it's time to share with you my honest recommendation. Piano Marvel is an engaging, motivating way to learn and practice the piano. And with the new updates and popular songs that are being added, it keeps getting better. There are hundreds of lessons that are broken down into fun, learnable segments that don't overwhelm students. My overall experience with the software was positive, although self-motivation seems to be a key factor in continuing these lessons. The game-like format keeps you trying and improving to achieve a gold trophy. This is perfect if you are competitive because you definitely would want to belong to the top students in the regular updates that you'll be receiving through email. It's also much less expensive than monthly lessons from a teacher, and you can learn at your own convenience. But you might not like the limited song library that it offers, especially if you'd like to practice with your favorite song. With this, I recommend Piano Marvel to all beginners out there who are looking to learn at their own pace. You'll definitely like how you are in control of all your lessons, not to mention the reward system that'll add spice to your practice. Now I think that choosing the right piano learning app is crucial to keep you focused on achieving your goal of being a great pianist someday. So if after watching this review, you think Piano Marvel is not right for you, then I recommend you check out this other app. But if you are ready to proceed with Piano Marvel, then go here next. I'll see you over there in the next tutorial.